And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is meeting with his top military advisors and cabinet members amid new reports of a possible hostage deal in Gaza. CBS News has learned the deal calls for the release of at least 50 hostages held by Hamas in exchange for more aid in Gaza and the release of at least 150 Palestinians being held in Israel. Israel has not yet commented on any of the terms of the deal. Well, freelance journalist Ben Solomon is here on set with us. Ben, you recently spent time in Israel covering the war for the Wall Street Journal. Talk to us about how that sentiment has changed over this month and a half. Yeah, I think, you know, what we have seen consistently on the ground from Israelis, from a lot of the protests and people that are coming out to speak against the government, frustrated with the fact that hostages have not been released or have been released very in very small numbers, is that, that the number of protesters, the amount of people coming out against the government has been growing and growing. I think early in after the attacks, what you saw in Israel from the Israeli population was a lot of people that still wanted to wait and see, still were like, okay, you know, this is bad, but you know, we have to let the government have a breath, see what happens. Now, almost 50 days into this war, there's so much frustration growing, so much unanswered questions about how these hostages are being uh, taken care of how the negotiations are happening. And now with the news uh, developing in the night, last hour, few hours, uh, I think there's probably going to be a lot of, of confusion and, and also hope for how these hostages are going to come out. And how are some of the particulars being met uh, in terms of public sentiment? The release of Palestinians held by Israel, um, the ceasefire, are these things that have broad approval? I think Israelis, you know, have been through a lot of, uh, Israelis and Palestinians have been through a lot of prisoner swaps in the past, most notably Gilad Shalit uh, a few years ago. And before that, in the early 2010s, uh, there was another prisoner swap that released the now head of Hamas in Gaza. Uh, so there is always kind of a fear from the Israeli society that these prisoner swaps are giving back to Hamas and to these forces uh, people that are experienced and high in leadership and people that could do damage to the Israelis once they're back. Uh, that, in the past, has Experienced been, high leadership, you mean with terrorist organizations? With Hamas, with uh, possibly other organizations that are developing on the ground. Um, now, with 200-plus hostages being held, with so many of them taken in such dramatic and horrendous fashion, I think there is a huge push from the society that these hostages need to get out fast. And since, until now, there hasn't really felt like there's been a huge push from the Israeli government to do that as a, as a fast speed. The people on the ground are saying they want to do the war first, they want to do the hostages second. That could all change in the next few hours. And we heard that actually articulated by the prime minister uh, and, and people within the government there. And we've seen the response protests among Israeli citizens um, to his offices in Jerusalem making that long trek. Uh, I'm wondering, Ben, if you can tell us a little bit more about how people in Israel are perceiving their controversial leader. He was controversial even before this happened, and there has been more uh, criticism of late. Yeah. I mean, Benjamin Netanyahu has a massive support base. He has for a long time. Uh, I think that base has definitely shrunk since October 7th. And I think that the way that the war has been progressing, a lot of the hardliners are probably starting to question what he's doing next. I think the, the thing that I heard reporting on the ground from most of the Israelis that, that do support him was, well, let's wait and see. You know, right now, it's war. Right now, we need to focus on the main objective. Uh, that has become less and less common than he needs to go then this is a problem. This guy did not keep his promises to us, and it's no longer viable as a leader for our country. In the next few hours, few days, few weeks, that could all change with mm -hmm. the release of these hostages. But for now, I think the prevailing thing that you hear over and over again on the ground from regular Israelis is that this leadership, this government didn't work. All right. Ben Solomon, thank you. Thank you.